Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorials, we look on animation inside the Vue. Our first step when we start working with Vue, we work with static images. So we created just one image with the objects or terrain we wanted. But soon we realize we can create animation because all world around us is um, in motion. And we look in this tutorials how we can do this with a Vue application. So let's begin by look on couple basic things in animation. So right here we have our cube. And uh, for the motion, for example, I want this cube maybe just move across the screen. To do this application, need actually render several images. So for example, here it will be one image located like this. Next, we need to move cube slightly, create another image, save it, move create it and save it and what's happened after we need to combine them together in a special motion file for the pc very common is avi and for the macintosh mov format so movie or audio video um, type format and after we can use the other application to preview but overall here we can create animations in a mo most application included vue the animations that make much more easy when you use a keyframe the keyframe, it is um, defined as starting and end points for the smooth transition. So it's make art much easier. Instead, they take object and constantly move it and save it, image, all this stuff. What I can do, I can stay uh, set right here, create a keyframe point, move my timeline, and I'll show in a second, to position, I readjust my object, create another keyframe, and after this application will automatically will readjust position of my object based on the, um, those settings and save every image as I specify so it will create for me. So let's look on this a little bit more details. The timeline, to access timeline, you have two options. One, we can go ahead and um, click F11 or another, we can go to display, click timeline and click on show timeline. This one will also, also will relate it to shortcut icon that you have it on your toolbar right here. We just go show the timeline. A um, couple things, so let's go click on this. You will notice in my case, I enable right here, you have the option to disable, to open first animation wizard. And we'll come back to look on this animation wizard after it's some time. Right now, if you just click and close it, We'll skip it, but we have right here additional options open for us. This is what called timeline. If you notice currently timeline, mine is set for the frames. So it's got 100 frames, 200 frames. And uh, what is frames represent? It's how many of those frames can show per second. To set those options, we can go and render options. And right here you can set the frame rate when you start rendering. And as usual, the five frames, it's just to see a rough animation if you don't want to spend too much time also we have it in mind by default i like to use 24 frames film but you also have it the television sets 25 or 30 frames you also can put it your own value if you're interested we'll come back to the screen in other tutorial right now let's look on a timeline so right here i said if you don't like use it keyframe just click anywhere on this bar go to the short time and you can set to the seconds uh, SMTP or STP or the frames. So for example, we switch to seconds right here. You can see I have it, my seconds showing on my um, grid. And again, the seconds and how many frames will be uh, set in a second. It's will related to what frame rate we set before. We also have the options before we look on our navigations. It is called um, keyframe control. So if we a right click okay oops let me go back to original we'll select object first we we'll right click you notice right here we have it um after keyframe at keyframe and also the properties right now it's kind of scroll out of the screen but this is just the options and we'll look on them in a second so let me see if i can readjust a couple things um normally you can enable after keyframe after keyframe will when application Vue will monitor any changes that you applied that may relate to the position, size, or material, or atmosphere, 
and will, based on those changes, will create an automatic keyframe. If you disable, the keyframe won't be created at all for yours. For example, I'm going right here, and you need create by yourself. So let me show you one thing. Let's go to enable after keyframe, and I'm on the first frame right here. By the way, to go to the first frame, if you're out, you can also assume when you move, you enable, go to the beginning of an animation. We'll click right here, so we're on a beginning. And if I move my object at this point, no keyframe kind of created. This is a work for all objects. So if you want to globally adjust the object without affecting, um, without creating any keyframe on your um, timeline, be sure you locate like it on a zero frame. So in this case, for example, I can resize everything and no keyframe is created. Let me go put it right here. Now I click and I want to create actually my first cre uh, keyframe. So I click add keyframe to all properties. Right here, you notice we have it one dot kind of created. This is our keyframe. Next, let's move it to 10 seconds. And what I do, I'm just taking, I will drag the cube. You notice it's kind of red line now creating and two points. This is representing our keyframes. And you notice right now we're creating our animation. So overall, if we look on our screen, you notice we'll start adding these animations frames between those two keyframes. Okay, so I'm right here. Now, if I'm going and disable after keyframe, I move it to maybe 15 seconds, I start adjusting. Notice no keyframe selected at all. And again, at point of this, if I'm going back, the my preset is disabled. This is another thing what happen when people, you may create some changes and forgot to create keyframe. You're going back and certainly you, all your changes disappear. It's the reason why, because Vu is remember this keyframe, so it's remember settings for this objects right here. And when you readjust something and you don't create any keyframe, we want to remember it will reset to last keyframe. So let's do create one more keyframe. And I will move my object a little bit right here. Right click and add keyframe. Right here we have three keyframes. You notice we have a spine line. Right now it's kind of smooth. And we'll look on those spine lines and other tutorials. Right now what I want to see, it's right here. You can see we have a timeline and we're moving. So our object is moving from those positions. All what we specify again for Vue is just beginning, middle, and end position and who created for us that animation timeline. Now we also have additional um, options and navigations available for us, which is specify end of animation, beginning. Also, if you want to jump between keyframes, sometimes it's very hard to going right exactly. And problem is if you just miss slightly and you try adjust. Okay, with after keyframe, let's enable it. So you just adjust and no, notice now we're creating another keyframe. I don't want that keyframe at all. So to easy going from each keyframe, just use your navigation, use it the next keyframe. So as long as you're going between keyframes, like I go in this keyframe. Now if I'm adjust, notice I do not create new keyframe. I adjust just this keyframe, that position. So if I think timeline was a little bit too far away, I want to readjust. I'm just gone to this keyframe. Okay, so use those um, skip to next keyframe buttons that will provide you more precision when you're creating additional new keyframe. We also have a stop and play button. The play button will work very well on a Windows that is currently active. So you can notice stop view is active. Let's work right here. So if we're going to our main camera and animation. It will work right in this window. So sometimes if you preview and you click animate it and don't see any change in your preview, it's probably because your window is not yet active. Okay, let me stop this one. Okay, so also on our timeline, we have a display for our uh, seconds or frames. It's depend what you're using. For example, currently it's second. Let's go, go ahead and, um, oops, actually I want to disable that one. Let me go and switch to show time as uh, frames so right here you can see it's showing the amount of frames and you can always just type in a frame and it will put it 
right precise to this frame if you want it or you can just go slide up and down by using um, the small arrows we also can expand this is timeline doesn't showing that much to us so we can expand timeline based for the properties so we can go to specific position and just work at this point as well we can go ahead and use curves for our animations if we want it you can see right here but again this is just overview don't be overwhelmed at this point we'll come back and we'll look more on all these types we also have another options it's a preview ways taking and will create generate frames for us on that preview so let me go down right here and uh, because i'm using recording it's kind of doesn't show uh, my recording software kind of conflicted but right here you will see the animations okay so let's go look on a couple other options we have it and you notice we have it a uh, generate preview we have preview options and also we have it our render animations and animations options again if you left click you come to animations render options and we'll come back to this one and if you right click you're going to advanced animations options in which you can um, specify options like if you have a problem with flickering you can actually work here with uh, removing a little bit less uh, animation flickering redone and everything but it will take some additional time so if you create preview um, you may want to uncheck some of them it will have it more flickering but at least you can overview how the your animation is going it saves some little time for the preview but again you probably want to enable for the quality also you have options for the um your blurring and uh, your pixel ratio and we come back to all this and when we're going over animation menus okay so right here is very rough look on your timeline and we look very fast how you can create simple simple um timeline with keyframes so in next tutorials, we'll look on Animation Wizard. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember, visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.